Since I started this Linux channel about seven months ago, I've reviewed probably more than a hundred Linux distributions on this channel. But you know what? There are a couple of giants in the Linux world I haven't got, uh, gotten around to reviewing on the channel. The most obvious one, of course, is the granddaddy of them all, Slackware. Haven't reviewed Slackware on the channel yet. I'll eventually get around to it. But another one that I've had many requests for and I'm just now getting around to downloading the ISO and getting ready to take a look at Hannah Montana Linux. Let's get started. Hannah Montana Linux. Everybody talks about it. It's a running joke and pretty much every Linux forum, Linux blog, Linux subreddit. A lot of people mention it on my channel in, my, in the comments. Heck, I even make Hannah Montana Linux jokes sometimes, but you know what? I've never actually tried Hannah Montana Linux. It might be good. I don't know. What I do know is that the Hannah Montana website is hosted over at SourceForge. You can find it at hannahmontana.sf.net. And it's actually a pretty cool website. You know, you got some Hannah Montana Linux screenshots. Apparently, they're using KDE 4.2 in Hannah Montana Linux. Did I mention Hannah Montana Linux is like eight, nine years old? <laughs> so it's going to be based on a really, really, really old version of Kubuntu using a really, really, really old and really horrible edition of KDE. The KDE 4.2 version was just horrid. One of the buggiest and worst desktop environments you will ever run, KDE 4.2. I'm really looking forward to this. So I've downloaded the ISO. The ISO was only about 700 megabytes in size, just under 700 megabytes. So back in the day, this was when they were really trying to limit the ISO size of most Linux distros to 700 megs or under. So you could still burn them to CDs back then. So you could still run Hannah Montana as a live CD if you wanted to. But today I'm going to be installing this in a VM. I'm going to take a look at this inside VirtualBox. Okay, so I got this set up here in VirtualBox. All right, when you first boot into the live ISO here, we have our menu for language. English has been chosen by default. If I don't click something in about 10 seconds, it's just automatically going to boot us straight into the live environment using English as the language. All right. The boot menu, we have the options of try Hannah Montana Linux without any change to your computer. So this boots us into the live desktop environment. We have the option of just installing Hannah Montana Linux. We have check disk, test memory, boot from the first hard disk. I'm going to choose the second option in the menu, install Hannah Montana Linux. There may have also been an installer in the live environment if I would have chose the first option in the boot menu. But if the second option, you know, takes me to some like text-based or in curses based installer, that's fine too. I don't mind running one of those. I would kind of prefer that actually, because I don't want to spoil the surprise, you know, the Hannah Montana live desktop environment. I don't want to see that before I actually install it. <laughs> uh, you know, we need a little anticipation. And we wait for the installer to load here. Again, this is a live environment, so it may take a minute or two. I couldn't find exactly what version of Kubuntu Hannah Montana Linux was based on. I know it was released somewhere around 2009. <laughs> so it's going to be a really, really old version of Kubuntu that this was based on. All right. This actually looks kind of like the old, one of the older Ubiquity installers. English has been chosen for our language. We just click forward. All right, time zone. Eastern time zone has been chosen for us. I'm in the central time zone. Click forward. Keyboard layout, USA has been chosen. That's correct. I'm just going to click forward. It is a really, really cool themed Ubiquity installer. This purple theme with the green buttons. Kind of cool. All right, uh, partitioning. Do we want to use the entire disk or do we want to manually partition our drives. You know what? Use the entire disk. 
We'll just let Hannah Montana Linux just do its automatic partitioning. All right, we need to create a username and password. DT will be my username. We need to create a strong and complicated password for security reasons. What is the name of this computer? DT is fine. Do we want to log in automatically or require a password to log in? We'll require a password to log in. Click forward. You entered a password that consists of less than eight characters, which is considered too weak. You should choose a stronger password. If I click continue, will it just let me go ahead? It will. Okay, so it gave me a warning, but you know, it will let you use a very weak password if you so choose. All right, we have our summary here. We have language keyboard, our username, host name, time zone, the uh, partition scheme, all that looks good. I'm just gonna click install. All right, it's, it's creating an extended three file system. So, wow, this Linux distro is so old, you know, extended three, I guess was still the recommended file system. Because right around when this uh, distro came out in 2009, really, Extended 4 was really coming on the scene as, as really being the default for, for most distros. Some were still using Extended uh, extended 3. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video. I'll wait for the installation to complete. And Hannah Montana Linux is finished installing. The installation was extremely fast. Uh, maybe three minutes. <laughs> but, get, but again... The ISO, less than 700 megs, so anyway, you click restart and it will reboot your machine. That's what I'm going to do right now. All right, and I rebooted my freshly installed Hannah Montana Linux, and I get a grub error here. Okay. Well, maybe that's why the install process was so quick. Something went wrong somewhere. Let me see if I can fix the problem. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to fix the grub problem here in Hannah Montana because when I boot back in the live environment, you know, using the ISO, there's no gparted or any kind of a uh, disk stuff installed to make Hannah a system rescue CD. Uh, I can't download anything from the repos because the repos no longer work in this very very ancient Linux distribution so I can't install things like in you know a lot of Ubuntu based distros you can install something like boot repair to repair your grub so so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna review the live desktop here in Hannah Montana I've got it zoomed in a little bit the the best screen resolution I can get is 800 by 600 because of course VirtualBox guest editions not working out of the box you know nine years ago and I can't install them either, so because again, we can't really connect to the repos. So let me go through. Well, first, the, you know, just general impressions. Like the wallpaper, like the purple. Actually, the theme is not bad. Uh, even the uh, picture of Hannah here on the desktop, pretty classy, sharp picture. And I like the fact that they included the tux here in the top right. It's not bad. We got the Hannah Montana. Uh, logo here in our kickoff menu. This is the standard kickoff menu in the old KDE 4 series. For web browser, <laughs> we have our Conqueror. The Conqueror web browser. Horrible, horrible web browser. All right. We have contact for our personal information. Let's just go through the applications. We'll go through the categories. There shouldn't be much. It's only 700 megabytes. Graphics. We have Ocular, Gwynview, K Snapshot. Uh, this is kind of a clunky menu too. Really the early KDE 4 versions were so bad. A lot of people ditched KDE when they switched from KDE 3.5 to the early 4 series. A lot of people went looking for other desktop environments. A lot of them went to GNOME because the GNOME 2 desktop was so good. And then of course GNOME went to GNOME 3 and everybody left GNOME 3. <laughs> uh, under internet, we have KTorrent. KRFB, which is desktop sharing. We have aggregator, Copete. We have Quassel, Kmail. Let's see, what else do we have on Hannah Montana? Multimedia apps. Multimedia, we have Amarok and Dragon Player. Very cool. Office, we have really nothing here. We have our contact and our K organizer. And we have, you know, your standard settings and system stuff. But under system, again, we don't really have anything 
very useful. Like there's no G parted, so no partition editor of any kind. We do have a system monitor and a terminal. The system monitor. Let's see what kind of system resources Hannah is using. So if we go to system load. Yeah, CPU. You know, single digits. So Hannah's not a big load here. Memory, very light on memory too, actually. Wow, 191 megabytes of RAM in KDE in Hannah Montana Linux. That is extremely light. Huh. Anyway, back to the system category. Of course, we had our terminal. And again, I can't really install any kind of like boot repair or anything like that because, for one thing, sudo apt update. Oh, apt doesn't work. This was before you could just sudo apt update. The command was sudo apt dash get update. And all of that is just throwing up 404 errors. None of these repos exist. <laughs> so obviously I can't sudo apt dash get, you know, gparted. No. Or boot repair. Pretty much this is dead. So Hannah Montana, pretty much what you get as far as a live CD or a live USB. That's what you're going to get. I mean, I guess I could change the repos and point Hannah to like some modern Kubuntu or Ubuntu repos, but you run the very real risk of breaking the distro. As a matter of fact, you probably would. As soon as you run an update and an upgrade, you're going to run your, your Hannah Montana Linux because it's going to update to, you know, one of the Plasma, the, uh, Plasma 5 series. You're probably going to lose all your cool Hannah theming. So... Really, you have to run it as is. This old school, nine-year-old live USB or live CD. Overall, what do I think of Hannah Montana Linux? Love it. I wish this wasn't a dead project. Uh, you guys, especially you guys out there that are working on the same tired old Ubuntu-based distros and Debian-based distros and Arch-based distros, why don't you guys do something worthwhile? Somebody needs to take up the mantle and let's get Hannah Montana back on the scene. Anyway, before I go, I do want to thank my patrons. I want to do a special thanks to all my patrons. A.K. Ron, Mr. Neely Pops, John, Brian, Carl, Greg, Carlos, Rob, Matt, Darkwin, Mark, Christian, Jake, Benjamin, Stephen B., Stephen Z., Marcus, Interceptor, Bob, Lior, Omar, Silvio, David, Alex, Mike, Daniel, Nick, and Eduardo. You guys are awesome. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys.